The new movie Mob Town tells the story of the notorious 1957 meeting in upstate New York of mafia heads from around the country. Yeah, the pressure is on for mobster Joe Barbara and his wife Josephine, played by Jamie Lynn Sigler, when the mafia kingpin taps them to host the event. Take a look. Every white guy in the country, Chicago, Detroit, they're all coming here. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, don't you see? This is the opportunity of a lifetime, Joseph. It's time for tune. This is your bump up. This is our chance. We're gonna feed him. What are they gonna drink? Are you crazy? We are gonna throw the best party with the best food, the best everything. Don't you see? Don Vitone's gonna see what a good man you are. This is our moment, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Lynn is with us now, I, and welcome. Thank you. I love how excited your character is, and your I husband know. is all stressed out about, but this is based on an actual true event. Tell us what this movie is about. I know, I had no idea. So it's about, in 1957, the largest meeting of the mob that ever took place in this small town called Apple Lake in New York, and um, a law officer noticed some suspicious behavior going on, tipped off the FBI, and it was the biggest bust, and it was sort of the beginning of the fall of the mafia, you know, a couple of years prior to the RICO Act and things like that. But it's kind of a throwback to old mob movies and why you love them. You know, it has the wise guys and the funny characters, the action, the drama, but it also has a love story between David Arquette and Jennifer Esposito. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a great cast and she Josephine was such a dream to play. Yeah. yeah. She is just so She's ridiculous. a firecracker. And what a great wardrobe. Perfect way to call her. Yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. And is. so anything period is the best. Yeah. yeah. So what's it like playing the mob? Life. Oh, it was such a different <laughs> turn and I loved it. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I, I feel like I've been, you know, engrossed in the mob world for yeah. so long. So to finally play one of these quintessential mob wives was a dream. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, being a part of The Sopranos, that was a very modern look at the, the mob. But this was very historical. Did you learn a lot or did you know a lot going into it? I knew nothing about really? it. I never knew that this happened. Yeah. So it was, it was, uh, a little piece of history that we got to be a part of to portray for sure. And I think, you know, when you have the clothes and the hair and the makeup and the set, it's so informative. It like completely transforms yeah. ports you as an actress. So yeah. it's almost easier. Yeah. Yeah. And fun too. Yes. I need to so go back fun. in time like that. Well, um, you're very involved in a very different project from this for the holidays. You're voicing the first Latina Jewish princess yes. on Elena of Avalor, which we've watched in my house. So how oh. exciting was that? It was so great. You know, when I when they when I got the call to do the role in the couple of episodes, I didn't realize that they had never had a Jewish princess before or a princess that talked about being Jewish. And so to do an episode and I got to sing and sing about Hanukkah and a girlfriend of mine sent me a video of her little girl watching it and she said uh, to her, I want to celebrate Hanukkah now, which uh, is so sweet oh, because yeah. I think that sometimes kids can feel around this time that they don't feel represented, yeah. you yeah. know. Uh, so it was exciting. Yeah, that's nice. And if you weren't busy enough, you're, uh, um, you're participating in two hit podcasts. Yes. One is Mama Said, and tell us about that. You were just talking about your boys, so you talk about the <laughs> real life of motherhood. Yes, so Mama Said is a, is about the all-encompassing experience of motherhood, and sometimes the not-so-pretty feelings that we have about it, and to realize that it's okay, because when I had my first son and I went through all those feelings, I didn't talk about it with anyone. I thought I was a bad mom. Yeah. There was mm. something wrong with me. And it's just about you know building a community of honesty and fun, and we share our wins and fails every week. And, and women are responding. And women are, we have over 3 million downloads and a great Facebook community. It's so much fun. And then the other podcast is called Pajama Pants. And that's with Robert Eiler, who played my brother in Sopranos, and our friend Kasim. And we're just three really different people from walks of life, but we reminisce about the Sopranos a lot, but just talk about everything and nothing at the same time. And it's yeah. just, you know, sometimes we record at night or in the morning, in the middle of the day, whatever works for our schedules. And it's just fun to connect that way. And that yeah. one's really popular too, but you all must know each other so well for spending so much time yeah. on Yes, people that don't show. realize exactly how close we are. I mean, yeah. he is like a true life well, you grew to up me. together, really. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I have to check out that Mama Said because it is so important to hear other moms saying, you know, things that you think in your head and you're like, oh yeah, my God, I'm a terrible you, mother. I mean, we, there's so many times that I'll forget that people are actually going to be listening to it. Like, <laughs> I feel like yeah. I was too honest. Yeah. Right, right. But I'm definitely going to listen. Good. All right, well, you can catch Mob Town out in theaters, uh, VOD and digital tomorrow. Jamie Lane, great to have you. Yes, here. thanks so much. Thank you.